Hey guys, it's Monica and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys know, I've been making videos for over 10 years now. As you can see, I actually changed the name on my YouTube channel. It no longer says Herodynamic, it says Monica Church. So really excited about that one. So with that change, I'm also really excited to share with you guys a new series that I'm gonna be doing on my channel. Not as Monica Church, the hair, makeup, lifestyle, travel vlogger, but as Monica Church, the filmmaker. So with this series, I wanted to take you guys along and narrate and direct mini documentary style episodes about women that I find really inspirational that are breaking barriers in their lives and in their careers and in what they do. For my first episode, I got the chance to shoot with NASCAR. I was really excited for this because I saw this as an opportunity to find out more about the women in the sport of NASCAR. So for this first episode, I want you guys to meet Brianna Daniels. I'm Brianna Daniels, and I am the first African-American female tire changer in NASCAR. NASCAR was born in the Prohibition era, a time when America was not as accepting of both women and racial diversity. Today, Brianna has broken that barrier by becoming the first African-American female tire changer within a pit crew. So I have an impact wrench that I use to take the lug nuts off. In order to take those lug nuts off, there's a button switch. So I have to switch that button up. You take the lug nuts off, the tire carrier throws a new tire on, and then I switch my button back and I have to lock them back on. Then run to the other side and basically do the same thing. So that's my job as a tire changer. So I've been flying all day and I just got into Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is actually like the headquarters of NASCAR. In fact, my hotel room has a view of the NASCAR building. I'll show you it. It's right there. I'll zoom in. Today's my first day in North Carolina, so I'm going to a NASCAR pit stop practice. The pit stop is super important because there's a lot of strategy to it. You have to be very fast, very precise, and in the highest level of NASCAR, it's the best of the best doing it. If you're going to be the best, you got to practice. Another day in the life of Rev racing in NASCAR. Right now we're gonna go in the weight room, get a nice little workout in. With Brianna, we basically were looking for an African American female that had not yet been in the sport. That was a hard thing to do. We uh, recruited several, but it just didn't take. But uh, the day that I met her, I knew that you know she probably was gonna be the one. Coach Horton, you know, he's how I got my start in NASCAR. He came to my school when I was in Norfolk State, hosted a tryout. I ended up doing a really good job. I was the only girl. I did good enough to get invited back to the National Combine that they held here in Charlotte a few months after that. And I placed in the top 10 spot in order to come back and train and be a professional. So, you know, shout out to Coach Horton for allowing me to have my start in NASCAR. You know, if it wasn't for him, you know, and my work ethic, I wouldn't be in this position today. Ready, stretch, one. One of the things that Brianna does that sets her apart from any other pit crew individuals that I've worked with is her work ethic. She came in after we recruited her. She showed great drive. She worked hard. She worked hard in the weight room. She worked hard at pit practice. She did everything that was asked of her. And you know, it kind of shows now because she's already made it to the Xfinity series in her second year. If she keeps doing what she's doing, Hopefully one day she'll make the Monster Energy Cup Series. Like any sport, there are different leagues depending on your skill level. The same applies for the pit crew. A regional series is comparable to the minor leagues, whereas a national series is like the major leagues. Within the national series, there's the Camping World Truck Series, Xfinity Series, and the most competitive, the Monster Energy Cup Series. The goal as a driver is to make it to the Cup Series. The goal for Brianna is to work in the pit of the Cup Series. With only two years of experience in the sport, Brianna has already made it to the Xfinity series with the goal of jumping over the wall at the Monster Energy Cup series. A race day is, it just basically depends on the time of the race. Uh, today the race was at 2. You know, I live in Charlotte, so I had to catch a flight at 6 a.m. I got here and immediately after getting off the plane, drove over to the track, started setting up, getting the pit boxes all together, cleaning and gluing the tires, and uh, just making sure everything was good. The race 
it's over now. Now I'm about to head to a hotel and shower up so I can catch my flight tonight back home. Literally flew out here today to Arizona. Now I'm leaving tonight. Go right back to Charlotte so I can be in my bed. Growing up, uh, I looked up to my mom and uh, you know she's still my idol to this day. Uh, she passed away a few years ago to breast cancer. Well, this is when I was back in high school, but she really plays a huge part of my life today. Whenever I feel like giving up, uh, you know, I always think about her and what she went through while battling breast cancer. And uh, yeah, she just she's my everyday reminder of you know just to keep going, keep pushing through, and to never give up. Goals for the future, um, you know, I want to leave my legacy in the sport uh, by breaking barriers on all levels possible in the sport, you know, by changing tires at the cup level. For everybody wanting to, you know, maybe be in the position that I'm in today, you can really do anything you put your mind to. The sky is the limit, really. As long as you work hard and, uh, you know, you prove yourself and you just constantly bust your butt, then there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to get what you're going after. I was honored to meet Brianna and learn about her and tell her story and I'm so excited to see all the barriers she breaks in NASCAR but also in the rest of her career. If you guys want to follow her, I'll have all her stuff linked below. I hope what you guys can take from this video is to always work hard like Brianna says. Good old fashioned hard work will get you where you want to be. And also what I want you guys to know is whatever hobby you like, it doesn't matter if it's more male dominated or female dominated. If you love it, you should go for it. I hope that you guys like this video and like this series. And if you know anyone who's really inspiring in the world that you think I should make a video about, you can email me right here all about them and maybe you'll see them in the future on this series. Also, can we come up with a name for this series? Because like, I don't really have a name for it, but I want one, but I don't know what. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.